After combing the waters on foot around the crash site, rescue workers recovered four more bodies within 100 meters downstream from the site. This leaves eight people still missing. As rescue boats crisscross the river looking for bodies, rescue workers had to examine potential blind spots in the Geelong River's many bends. Despite the difficulty of the search, early this morning they were able to locate the bodies of two teenage boys some 50 meters downstream from the crash site. When I was passing, my left hand felt a hand, which was that of a child's. When I turned it over, his brother also floated up. Both had their seatbelts clasped and were sitting together. Rescue workers felt other missing bodies could be nearby. Shortly thereafter, they discovered a male and a female body some 100 meters downstream of the crash. The style of the search we conducted this morning has proven effective. We joined arms and made our way downstream. This gives me confidence that we will soon find all of the missing passengers. Fifteen divers defied the cold weather and stood waist deep in the river, slowly making their way downstream. They used their feet to feel around whenever they encountered something suspicious. As the current slowed and visibility increased, workers became more hopeful that remaining missing passengers would be found.